everyone and welcome either to or back to Just Jade. In my last video you may have seen that I pushed Henry the Hoover way too far beyond his limits and unfortunately we had to say goodbye. I had to invest in a new Hoover. So this video is going to be an unboxing of my new Hoover, or should I say Hoovers, that I've bought because I've not just bought one, I've bought Yes, two. I have bought a new Hetty Hoover. I have missed my Hetty Hoover and as much as I loved Henry, Hetty is the one for me. I've also had somebody suggest that the, um, forgive me if I'm wrong with pronouncing this because I don't really know how to say it, I think it's a Miel or a Millie I thought at first and I think that's definitely wrong. Um, a Miel, I don't know, you can you can correct me and tell me how to pronounce that. So this one has been recommended to me. Apparently it's very, very efficient and has got very good suction power on it, which is obviously what we need from a good vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna unbox both of these now and we're gonna see exactly what's inside them, how heavy they are. And I will be doing very soon a comparison of the two different hoovers comparing the suction and how good they work on the dog hairs because as I said I do have a labradoodle and she just molts and gets hair everywhere so I'm looking for a hoover that can really um, not as well not just clean up all the mess that generally builds up around the house but one that can really attack the dog hairs and if you saw the last video we like to have a bit of fun with the vacuum cleaner sometimes and this a bit before I didn't even realised the brand existed. I think it's actually called Miele, so, or pronounced Miele, I don't know. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, the box is a bit beaten up when I got it, but never mind, I'm sure it will all still function properly. It's not too heavy, it's quite robust, but it's not too bad. It's got a nice grey finish on it. Ooh. Got the little wheels that actually seem to rotate really easily, which is always a plus. And what else have we got here? So we've got different settings, so you've got your minimum, your maximum. You've also got like a little ear, which I presume means that you can have it really quiet if you want to. So yeah, that's pretty good. And then it's got your instructions here, which I'll read through another time. Aha. Uh -huh. The attachments. This is your basic floor attachment. Oh, I quite like the look of this one already. It's amazing how much they can compact these things into such small packages, really, isn't it? And then you've got these extra attachments here, which is always fun to have. My last um, Henry Hoover that I bought was actually second hand, so a lot of the attachments I didn't have. So this is going to be great. And you can actually experiment a little bit more. What is this? Okay, so I've got these different attachments here. So obviously this is just like a standard hoover and over the floor one. Pretty simple. And this is your nozzle one for getting in those skirt in boards, those hard to reach areas. So you've got a nice little soft brush one here. And then, I'm not really sure what I'd be using that for. I guess I'll figure that out if you could comment and let me know. And this one, I what, what is that? I have no idea what that's for. 
and it seems that all of the instructions are in a different language, which I'm going to presume is German. Might be wrong there. But anyway, it's a pretty attractive looking Hoover. It's quite small and compact. It's not too hard to store away somewhere. It's got all these nice little wheels to make it easy to manoeuvre. Now I guess we'll just set her up. So I'm just gonna so this one just clips in there. And it does it's meant to require a bag. Oh it does require a bag and there is a bag actually provided with it, so that's good. Oh it's so clean. <laughs> it's not gonna stay like that for very long. Right. Oh, so, put this one on here, like so, get this bit pushed in, is that in? Yep. And that's all clipped in now. So that's that one all set up and ready for an experiment. Let's go on to the Hetty unboxing. I'm going to have to put these in bags so I remember which ones. We've made over 10 million Henrys and Hetties. Most of them are still in use today. It's impressive. I mean, everybody knows that the Hetty and Hetty Hoovers are classic. One, two, three. And again, this one comes with a bag. However, I've got so many bags, so I don't actually need that. So with my old Henry Hoover, it was like literally old. And pink. And I'm a girl, and I'm a pink. really standard setting up your Henry uh, Hetty Hoover put that nozzle on get that bag in where should I put that bag there it is unclip I don't actually need to put this bag in Hetty because she's already got one all lined up and ready to go which is handy so I'll put this one side to make sure we keep it and then all these different attachments that we're just going to figure out which ones they're going to be. The back on top. Click that back in place. See what attachments we've got for her too. You're gonna have to help me out a bit, guys, because I don't actually know what these bits are for. I mean, that to me looks like it'd be used on walls, which is quite similar to this one. So maybe we're gonna use that on walls for like spider webs and things like that. Uh, that one, I, I don't have a clue. Anyway, let's put the heady attachments back in the right place. Very quick 
warm up comparison video of the, how did I pronounce it again? Miel? Me, no, I can't, honestly somebody needs to help me with learning how to pronounce the name of this vacuum cleaner. So whatever that one is, Miel, I'm going to go with. But it's not that, I know it isn't, it's annoying me now. And Hetty. So we're going to do a little warm up comparison video and then I will be doing a full comparison it's video. Very in depth comparison very, video, very you can click on the link below and follow me on Patreon where I like to really test these hoovers and vacuum cleaners to their limits. But I will also be posting one on YouTube for you all as well. I've got a load of confetti. Not, it's not confetti, it's basically like a play cheerleader pom-pom thing that my daughter decided that she would just shred to pieces and scatter all over the house. So I've got a load of that that's going to need to be vacuumed up. So I'm going to test both vacuum cleaners with that. And also, my old Henry did not pick up the dog hairs. I have been told by somebody that there is an attachment that you can get for the Hoovers that actually helps with picking up dog hairs. So we'll see if that works when I buy one. But for now, we're going to see which one of these I two listen to the comparison of the noise that they make. As you may have seen from one of my previous videos, my little girl does not like hoovers anymore, which is an absolute nightmare because I it's it's more irritating having to hoover whilst holding a baby and them crying. But maybe I have had and I've seen that this has got some sort of like weird it seems it, to help it seems the vacuum cleaner be a bit quieter. So maybe if it wasn't as loud she might be a bit less frightened. So first of all I'm just gonna switch on Hetty. Because I'm quite familiar with the volume of noise that Hetty makes. Ready? Okay, so Hetty actually doesn't sound too bad at all. I think my old Henry Hoover was just so past it that he made a lot of noise and rumble. But let's try this one. Miel, Millie, whatever you say. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so we'll give this one a go because I've never listened to this one before. Okay guys, I am so excited to try out using this vacuum cleaner because it sounds so yeah, I'll do that one more time. the Hetty Hoover. I mean, it is it is as loud, but it just sounds a bit more like aircon in the background rather than a <laughs> Hetty sounds slightly more aggressive, doesn't she? Why are you so angry? Anyway, so I'm just gonna do a very small warm-up comparison for you now, and then as I said if you follow the Patreon account or subscribe and like and comment on YouTube, you'll be able to see a snippet of what's available in the Patreon account whilst I test out these vacuum cleaners. Two in one. Ooh. Even that's different. 